Hello there, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope great. It's Monday. Um, crazy weekend. Well, no, it was a very peaceful weekend, right? A lot. I've gotten some kind of weird messages, some crazy messages from certain fans. But um, all in all, you know, the protests have uh, been very, very peaceful. And who was first? Who was first? I uh, no name came up. But thank you. Oh, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Jawan and Lynette. I can't do the names. I got to go real fast. I got a meeting. I got to get out of here in like 10 minutes. But I wanted to go over just a couple of little things with you guys, okay? Uh, I want to go show you guys the new uh, cover that has been advanced. Thank you, Matt. I want to show you guys. We changed the font. Okay, there's the cover to a live for Michael Jackson, The Missing Pieces. Do you guys like the font? I do. I like the font. All right, so that's one thing that I want to show you guys. I got a few more things I want to show you guys. All right. Um, and I got to do it fast. All right, here we go. Okay. How, why is somebody promoting the Jacksons concert in Gary, Indiana over a year in advance? My goodness, July 17th, 717 in Gary, Indiana. Well, you know, I, 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 you know, I hate to talk about comebacks. I hate to talk about comebacks, but this would be the greatest place to do it at. Um, but um, um, 717 is an important date that I'll be talking about and a live four um, and it's really good it's a clue um, I'm not even going to tell you more but there is a big pow clue that happened seven on seven seventeen, which most people thought was a comeback date so we got that and I have one more image I want to show you guys I want to talk to you guys about something all right I did not know um, I remembered I don't I you know Taj Jackson and TJ have been posting some really good stuff, you know, and they took their kids out. Uh, I think TJ took him and his wife and the kids out to the Black Lives Matter March and taught them lessons about racism and all that other stuff, which I think is really, really good. And um, so they, you know, I've been kind of following them, but, you know, TJ, Taj does those long lives, you know, and I can't listen to the whole thing because I'm busy with the live four. So... Um, I knew that I had heard him say for us to watch certain, you know, episodes and he would discuss them, right? Wasn't the last live. I think it was the live before that, okay? And um, two of them, one of them was a Twilight Zone episode about Kick the Can. And it's about old people who are about to die who um, relive their childhood and they need to be youthful again and so they play kid games and then they got their strength back and their health back and you know and it was just a Twilight Zone it was really good it was an old one from the original Twilight Zones which I just love the original Twilight Zones were really really super good um, and then there was another one guys and it's called um, it's Steven Spielberg, and it was done in the 80s and 90s, I think, or 90s. It's old series, but called Amazing Stories. And he wanted us to watch the one Life on Death Row, right? He wanted us to watch that one. So I wasn't quite sure that he said that one, right? So I put out a message to the fans, and I said, who remembers what Taj asked us to watch? And he discussed it, not the Twilight Zone, but the other one. So, somebody sent me the link. Okay, amazing stories. And here is the link. I think uh, Teresa did or did Teresa and Christina. Christina and Teresa sent me this. So, I got two people telling me what it was. Okay, so that I'm not wrong. Okay, because I couldn't go and listen to, um, I couldn't listen to, you know, hours and hours to try to find out where he said it. So, I asked the fans and they confirmed that this was the one that Taz said to watch right so I go hold on so I go and I watch it right I watch it I watch it right so anyway so I'm gonna let you guys watch just a little bit of it okay it's with Patrick Swayze okay and here it is play so Patrick Swayze is an inmate and he is being electrocuted for a uh, murder and he, uh, a robbery went bad and murder, and he was trying to get um, a, a pardon. 
and uh, from the governor, and he couldn't, so he tried to run away with other um, other inmates, and he got electrocuted, and then he got all these great powers, right? So um, anyway, so he's getting ready to go get die in the electric chair, right? I'm sorry, you can see my whole office, but I am, let me see, okay, there we go, that's better, if I take some of the glare off. So, we're going to watch like a couple of minutes of it. Yeah, he's going to his death right now, because he's going to get electrocuted. I think that's what they do to you when you, when they put the, the black uh, mask over, or covering over your face so that your eyes don't pop out, you know? It's really gruesome, I heard, so they got to do that. Yeah, he's getting ready to get electrocuted, right? So you're wondering, why the heck would Taj tell us to watch this? Because he wants to discuss it. And he said with everything going on in the world that he was going to, you know, postpone it to discuss it again. He said that when he uh, interviewed uh, Deals, Ziggy Deals, and his wife Toya. Um, anyway, so I did watch some of that, and he said he wasn't going to discuss it yet, but anyway, he, Patrick Swayze is getting ready to die, okay, he's getting ready to die. And this guy didn't want him to die, because he was healing people, because his powers from being electrocuted were healing people. And they were making people um, um, get healthy again. Same thing as like kick the can. You know, that certain things can give you power to heal again. But I'm sorry, Peterson. he's dead and they have confirmed that he's dead and the guy is rolling him out. But then so let me fair. let me just make it go faster. OK, let me go make it go faster. So. Because I got to get out of here. All right. So everybody starts touching him and touching him and touching him. And with the electricity and giving him back the electricity he gave them to heal. So the inmates are doing that. And they're touching him. And it's coming. Yep, it's coming real soon. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. I don't make this stuff up. Okay. I don't make up any of the death hoax clues. I don't make them do anything. I'm just a reporter. Okay. And an investigator. as uh, And many of you are too. So Taj is posting, telling, promoting something about somebody who's dead and comes back to life knowing that we believe Michael Jackson is alive. Knowing that, okay? Knowing that. Knowing that, okay? We've been on this death hoax, Michael's not dead, and I'm still here to tell you. I would love to have a public conversation with one of the Jacksons where we discuss the death hoax. Where we discuss, if I'm wrong, please explain some things to me. I love to have some another explanation. I don't think they can explain themselves out of this one now. It's just gone too far, it's almost 11 years. Okay, not one single solitary death document uses Michael's name, Michael Joe Jackson. Nowhere. Nowhere. It doesn't exist in this death saga. His real name doesn't. This death, death saga doesn't exist. But anyway, guys, make sure that you catch up on the Alive Trilogy of Michael Jackson Docs. Okay, on Amazon.com or on Vimeo. I always put the links in the description on YouTube and subscribe. And watch A Prisoner of Fame. And uh, be ready for a live four, okay? Because I believe we're going to make uh, June 25th, an 11, 11, 11, 11. Who remembers that clue? The, uh, we'll make uh, an 11 year um, anniversary where I'm going to release a live for Michael Jackson, The Missing Pieces. I have a meeting to go to. So I have to go. Anyway, one last thing. A lot of people get me confused. They think I'm some kind of conspiracy theorist. I am not. I am not. I am a well-educated, well-informed, two feet on the ground type of chick. Okay? And before I say anything, I do research it. And a lot of people don't understand that before I 
even publicly stated about Michael faking his death. I had two complete notebooks full of notes. I had, um, um, and then I wrote the, and that, and then, um, who remembers the Valentine's Day clue? Who remembers the Valentine's Day clue? Okay, that matched with June 25th clue, too. Okay. Um, uh, and, and if you don't know what that is, Michael's Valentine's Day clue, and that matches with June 25th, 2009, you got to watch my uh, live too, especially. Okay. But anyway, um, and that was seven months afterwards. I started going, wait a minute, Michael might have really faked his death. Because at first I was like, no way, I don't even want to hear it, you know. But I said, you know, Pearl, be open minded, you know, keep notes, keep notes. So if there's any other hoaxes out there that you guys want me to look into, give me time. Okay. I, I, I might. But not now, okay, because I'm busy and I don't believe in it and I'm not a conspiracy theory and I'm not chasing out, chasing around death hoaxes and I'm not a hoax chaser. I happen to be already um, um, reporting on Michael Jackson. I already was a Michael Jackson reporter because I was in the 2005 trial and I also was already a Michael Jackson documentary filmmaker because we did the, the documentary, The Trial and Triumph of the King of Pop. So when Jermaine announced him dead, it was just the, the natural trajectory that I would still be interested in anything Michael Jackson. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I am not a hoax chaser. That is not what I do. I report on Michael Jackson. And this death hoax was so phenomenal that after seven months, it took me three months from um, February 14th, February, March, April, May 21st, I released Suicide, Did Michael Jackson Fake His Death to Save His Life? And it's 115,000 words. As a matter of fact, 80 pages of it I didn't even release. Okay? So, um, that, and then once I had double-checked everything, that everything was true, everything was correct, nothing was you know, manipulated, nothing, you know, as far as what I've reported on, as far as my notes, there's a lot of junk clues out there. Lots and lots and lots and lots of junk clues out there, but I'm only responsible for what I report. Okay, what I report. And, um, and when I wrote the book, that's when I publicly came out and said, you know what, Michael Jackson faked his death. Okay, and I wasn't 100% then, but anyway, I can go on and on. But anyway, guys, I love you. Um, see you next time and thank you Taj.